Hi, Android developers, and welcome to this virtual talk. My name is Sherban Constantinescu, and I'm a product manager with Android Security. Today, I'll be talking to you about the Android Memory Safety Tools, a comprehensive toolkit that helps improve the quality and security of your application. Let's start by recapping what memory safety bugs are and where they might be present in your code base. Memory bugs are mistakes in handling memory in native languages like C or C++. They are relatively easy to introduce. And in this slide, you can see two of their most common forms, buffer overflow and use after pre. Next, let's take a look at the impact memory bugs have and the benefits of fixing them. Every second, end user devices report over 3,000 memory-related crashes. That's over 7.7 .7 billion crashes each month. Usually, these crashes are visible to the user, and that makes crashing apps look bad. Using memory safety tools can help you reduce bugs and therefore improve the user experience. Each year, memory bugs contribute to over 60% of the Android vulnerabilities. It's not just Android. Other large native code bases report similar issues. Fixing memory bugs in an application is as important as fixing them in the operating system. It doesn't matter to your users if the operating system protects their data, but your app does not. Using memory safety tools can help you achieve better security for your users. More than half of the apps on the Play Store contain some native code. Even if your app doesn't include native code directly, by developing part of your application in a native language, it may include native code indirectly, part of a third-party SDK or library. As you will see in the following slides, detecting and fixing such bugs has never been easier. Our mission is to help developers achieve memory safety. This means being protected from bugs and vulnerabilities when dealing with memory in native code. To do so, we have been developing a set of tools that ease detection and improve developer productivity. The journey to memory safety starts by using our tools. Over the years, we introduced new tools and enhanced existing ones. Today, developers can use hardware ASAN, a compiler-based memory bug detection tool, and GWP ASAN, an allocator-based probabilistic memory detection tool. These have been introduced in Android 10 and Android 11, respectively. In the future, with the introduction of new hardware, developers will be able to use ARM MT, a hardware-based memory bug detection tool that we have been co-developing in collaboration with ARM. While this hardware technology makes its way to Android devices, we strongly recommend application developers familiarize themselves with hardware ASAN and GWP ASAN and thus enable a smoother transition when compatible devices become available. Hardware ASAN has been available since Android 10. It detects all types of memory bugs, including stack, global, and heap issues. It requires recompilation, as it functions by introducing extra code around all memory operations. Therefore, its performance is not suited for deployment in production being around two times slower. However, we recommend using Hardware ASAN in development and testing. It requires flashing a Hardware ASAN build on your test device and recompiling your code with dash f sanitize equal hardware adders. We maintain Hardware ASAN builds for most Pixel devices. And while their performance might not be suited for deployment in production, it is certainly good enough for testing. Internally, we use hardware ASAN builds for dog fooding new Pixel devices. For more information, please check the link on this slide. In Android 11, we introduced a probabilistic memory detection tool. By probabilistic, we mean that we randomly guard certain heap allocations. This strikes a balance between performance and the chance of any single run catching a bug. In some ways, this looks like a lottery system, where we increase our chances of detecting a bug as the number of devices running our code base increases. 
GWPA Sun does not require recompilation, and its performance is well suited for production. We strongly recommend using GWPA Sun everywhere, from the early days of development all the way to testing and production. It is as simple as adding GWPA Sun mode to your Android manifest file. For more information, please check the link on this slide. Once you enable the memory safety tools, you should exercise as many code paths as possible. Bugs generate lockcut and tombstone traces, which can be used for local debugging. In production, the reports are exported off device to the Play Developer Console. In Android 12, we introduce a new tombstone API that allows developers to extract more crash information on the next app start. We are also excited to announce that we have been working with Firebase to introduce support for memory safety tools in Crash Linux. This is expected to become available later this year. When using memory safety tools, bug reports contain additional information that can help with debugging. Besides the offending backtrace, we include allocation and deallocation backtraces, which can be extremely helpful in finding the root cause of a bug. We have been using the same tools internally to develop the Android operating system. They helped us detect numerous bugs that have been latent in our code base for many years. The tools significantly improved our ability to detect bugs, and the enhanced bug reports sped up our fix time. With that, I'd like to quickly recap what was discussed in this presentation. The Android memory safety tools detect memory bugs in your code base. Fixing this improves quality and security. The recipe for memory safety is use memory safety tools, run your code and find bugs, fix those bugs. I look forward to developers using our tools and improving the quality and security of our ecosystem. If you encounter any issues or have any feedback, please reach out by filing a bug at the link provided below. Thank you for your time.